table fans, I'm here with BTP painter Paul, one of the, the greatest humans I've known on this planet. Well, I am pretty awesome. <laughs> that's fantastic. In take one, I said one of the best painters that's come through here, and he said the best. So I upped the ante a little yeah. bit to humans on the plane. He was like, ah, nah, uh, 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 probably not the best person yeah, I on, the say on the planet. On the planet. Yeah. But best painter in VTP? Oh, there you go. All right, so uh, we're, I've got my young daughter here today, and we were going to go to the corner store and uh, get a treat. And we asked Paul if he wanted a candy bar. And I, I don't know. It. Yeah, I, I don't know how, but it was that I was going to get him the most random candy bar ever. I just right. said the I didn't weirdest care. candy bar. Yeah, it happened. Yeah, so what did we end up getting? I have there? an Idaho spud. Okay, it an Idaho is spud. The candy bar that makes Idaho famous. Really? Um, yeah, it's this one right here. And it's smushy. And, uh, so it we're gonna smushy see. We're gonna I, see what this is about. I mean, Idaho. I mean, you have a lot <laughs> up in the line here because I'm pretty great. I have a lot of backing. Ooh, is it like coconut? I don't know. It's chocolate with coconut on it. I don't know. Looks like coconut. Is it? And it's like some sort of weird chocolate cream inside. It's like marshmallow. I what have is it? Never tried I know. Okay. It's like a five out of ten. <laughs> okay. Oh, Great. Uh, yeah. The other day, Alora managed to offend all of Europe. Oh, good. No, I'm I'm kidding. Well, but she did say the Eiffel Tower wasn't that great. So. Yeah. Well, Alora's I mean, if someone great. came to the U.S., would they have to think everything was great? Yeah. Probably not. Probably. Really? Oh, okay. There you go. Fantastic. Let's 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 alienate our our fan base. So anyway, all right, listen up, guys. We've got some Eldar to show you. And uh, take it away. Tell us all about it. Well, his instructions were pretty loose. He just wanted to use a, a few specific colors, being the main colors there, emerald and the turquoise. And everything else was really left up to it. So I tried to go with um, a lot brighter, obviously, like the, the bone weapons and stuff like that, to balance it out because the turquoise and emerald are pretty medium toned or pretty dark by themselves. And uh, yeah, that was pretty much the whole idea behind it. Everything else was pretty self-explanatory. Um, he wanted the bodies and gems and stuff a specific color. And that just left me to fill in the gaps. So I tried to balance out a lot more darks and lights. So I went with the engines being super dark and the weapons being super bright. Right. Well, and the thing is, because people think like everything needs to be painted and it doesn't. So I like how you've, you know, the weapons, they've got a lot done on them, like especially the fire prism turret yeah. has like a ton of jewels jeweled out on it. Uh, but these weapons, they're not, you know, yeah. they, they don't have too much going on on them. Right. So I, I think I, that really makes them stand out. Yeah, I thought since they were going to be mostly bone that I didn't know what sort of details you'd pick out in bone because I figured they would just be completely made out of bone. All right, that's fantastic. And uh, there's a ton of magnetized parts here. Yeah, all the magnetized parts and for everything. Incidentally, just so you guys know, a lot of times when I'm doing these videos or you see anything around the studio, it's not done yet. Like I still have to QC these. I already see a couple of things on them. Uh, and that that's all right because when you're an artist and you're like, have so many details of a project, it's easy to overlook something. Yeah. And then of course the client gets pictures and then the client gets to have them in their hands before they finally get that real final check off. So anyway, um, that, is, that is what we got. Yep. Any items of personal interest or note? Not really. Nothing that you're boring. doing? Just sitting at home. Just sitting at home, scratching yourself? Yeah. Well, I have blood angels too. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, we're not gonna look at those. Oh, okay. Not, not right now. I mean, no. Anyway. All right. Hey, uh, thanks a lot, Paul. Thank you. Oh, and Paul and I are due for a war machine bat wrap. Something like that. Yeah, and I know I'm going to get the beat down because I don't know what I'm doing. New Army, haven't First. played in a zillion years, First. and Paul is just like, Try oh, my fire. yeah, his scorn thirst for blood. Yeah. All right, fantastic. Hey, Goon, are you having a good time over there? What kind of time go on YouTube? Okay, sounds good. Yeah, jeez, YouTube. 
All right, thanks for tuning in and contact us at projects at bluetablepainting.com to set up your army.